Y'all ready for this? <laughs> oh God, help me. Hey Posh Bosses, I'm Jessica Perrier and I'm the Platinum Plus, I don't know what to do with my hands. Hey Posh Bosses, I'm Jessica Perrier and I am the Platinum Plus Premier Leader of my team of Poshpreneurs, otherwise known as Jessica Posh. You guys, I'm wearing stars today to represent all of the superstars that I'm talking to. Okay, let's get into it. So Pat asked me to talk to you guys about learning to soar, and I really love that topic. She thought maybe I could cover follow-up, but I had a different idea. <laughs> but before we jump into it, it should be said the fortune is absolutely in the follow-up. There are three million resources where you can learn about follow-up, but the bottom line is it's your literal J-O-B to follow-up. You are not a bother. It's your job to provide customer service. So follow-up. Now the topic that I wanted to chat about is visualization, okay? Now this topic can get a little too hippy-dippy for me sometimes, but stick with me here. In your posh life, do you visualize yourself as successful? Do you visualize yourself promoting to premiere, to platinum premiere? Because the good news is you can train yourself to do so. Even if you wanna lose 10 pounds or learn how to do a handstand, the good news is that you can train yourself to do anything. The human body is capable of anything. Your body is literally built to train, learn, adapt. And your mind, it's the same. However, it's under your control. You guys, doing anything is 99% mental. And if you picture yourself doing something, your muscles are actually working. Now, obviously at a fraction of the you know, way they would be if you were actually doing the handstand, but visualization is key. Do you guys know Sean Johnson? She's a gymnast and an Olympic gold medalist. So I actually heard her on a podcast recently, and when she won her gold medal, she physically trained, practiced less than her competition. She only trained about 25% of the time that her competition had been training, but she trained harder mentally. Her coach would assign her homework to complete her floor routine flawlessly in her brain 10 times every night. And if she messed it up in her brain, she'd have to start the routine all over again. Now, have you guys ever tried to picture yourself doing something flawlessly? Something you do in your everyday life? It's actually really hard because naturally we see flaws in ourselves. Even if they're not there, we make them up. But you guys, the most powerful truth of all is whatever you picture, whatever you believe will come true. You've heard the saying, whether you believe you can or you can't, you're always right. Hello, it's true. It goes back to that muscle memory. Whatever you're thinking becomes ingrained in your muscles and comes true. Now here's another story. It's like story time with Jessica Bush. <laughs> in 1954, Roger Bannister was the first man in history to run under a four minute mile. No one had ever done it before, but he wanted to do it. People told him he couldn't do it. They told him it was impossible, physically impossible. But he said, you know what? I'm going to do it. And he did it. You want to know how he did it? Just for the record, he had never done it before. Not even in practice. He had never run under a four minute mile. But you guys, success starts in your mind, and Roger knew this. Ironically, he was a neurologist, so clearly he understood the brain. <laughs> he relentlessly visualized himself earning that achievement, running that mile in under four minutes. And that created a sense of certainty in his mind and in his body. Muscle memory, right? So then when it came for him to run his four minute mile, his body responded to the belief that he could do it and hello, he did it. After he did that, you know what happened? His buddy, John Landy, who consistently clocked in at four minutes and two seconds, smashed the record by multiple seconds. He beat Roger. He beat him less than two months after Roger had first done it. And you know what? 36 other people ran a sub four minute mile that year. And since then, over 1,000 runners have clocked under a four minute mile. And today, a four minute mile is the standard for professional distance runners. All because Roger Bannister dared to believe he could do it. Now you guys, when I joined Posh, no way did I believe that I would make money with Posh. I just wanted the discount and I wanted to chase those quick start program goals. So we have Instastart, we had something like that way back when, and I wanted to chase those goals. So I was, you know, putting in some work. And then I found myself hitting pink plus one and still climbing. I started watching other top leaders in our company and dared to think, now wait a minute, if they can do it, why can't I do it too? So I went to my sponsor and I said, Tracy, I'm going to be a premier. And she said, yes, you are. And I'm so grateful for her belief in me because that helped strengthen my belief in myself. So many times when we tell people around us, you know, our plans or our goals or our dreams, they'll say, oh, you can't do that. That's not for you. 
They put their self-limiting beliefs on you, but you can't listen to those people. I visualized my promotion happening. I visualized what I would wear to my Tiffany ceremony, how I would do my hair, what the crowd would look like, what it would sound like. I believed that I could earn Platinum Premiere. I believed that I could earn my Silver Gold and Platinum Tiffany ceremony all in one. Nobody had ever done that before. I believed I could do it. I visualized it happening. And you know what? It came true, just like I pictured it. You guys, if you want to learn to soar, you've got to imagine it. You've got to picture it. What does it feel like? What does it look like? What does it sound like to you? There are some of you watching this training right now that'll be premier, silver, gold, platinum even this year. But you've got to visualize it happening. You've got to believe in yourself and you've got to see it actually happening. Sometimes it's scary to put those things out there because you can have people that you really care about look at you and say, mm, ooh, sorry, Jessica, that's not possible. Good luck with that. But you guys, that's just them putting their own self-limiting beliefs on you. Dismiss those limiting beliefs immediately before your muscles can even keep any memory of it, right? Muscle memory. What promotion do you want to achieve? What goals do you want to hit? What's your personal four-minute mile? What are your mental barriers that you just can't overcome? What are the beliefs that are holding you back? Dismiss them, and you're well on your way to where you want to go, to soar because you are your only limit. And if you're still unsure of yourself, find yourself a Roger Bannister, right? I struggled from pink plus two to pink plus three. So I found Nicole Shreve Pearsall. She was my upline premiere and she was doing what I wanted to be doing in Posh. She was my Roger. If she could do it, then I could, right? And then I found Angela Gunter. She was a platinum premiere and I'll be damned if she could do it, I definitely could do it. Success doesn't happen to you. It happens because of you. There's no such thing as an overnight success. There's no such thing as good luck. Uh, <clears throat> who was it? Samuel Goldman. I looked that up before doing this video. He said, the harder I work, the luckier I get. You guys, and no truer words have ever been spoken. You are your only limit. So my challenge to you today is to sit quietly with yourself and consider the possibilities. Decide what you want from your posh business. What do you want your paycheck to look like? What do you want your day-to-day -to, -day to look like? Visualize it as though it's already happened. What does it feel like? See it happening. You guys, this business is so simple, but it's not easy. However, we know that we can do anything because we are our own limit. Everything is figure outable. When I joined, I never had heard of or attended a Facebook party. And I thought YouTube was where you watched people on roller coasters because that was literally the only time I had ever watched YouTube. Everything is figure outable. You learn as you go. But in order to soar, you have got to see yourself as successful. You've got to imagine that you are capable. We can do anything. You can do anything. You've just got to take the steps to make it happen. Best of luck to you and your business, and I hope this was helpful. Have a great day.